that start procedure is so important. You know, we've seen long lap penalties be given in multiple of the semi-finals now, so they really want to avoid that because it just adds so much extra pressure and extra, you know, risk to having a good performance in these semi-finals. So making sure you're one in the perfect lane position where you need to be, you don't cause any infringements, but you try and get that clean line like we've seen being so, you know, paying off dividends. And let's see how we go. Did you see what John Peters just did there as we come up and we are racing? He laid back, laid back, and then just built speed as he came flying around in a big outside arc, showing some of that uh, experience perhaps. But here we go, on board with shot. Look at this shot across at Westbrook. We have just heard if Westbrook gets a second, they'll may probably make it into the final if uh, if shot gets a first or second he certainly will so it's all about what team blue rising can do here and john peters using that outside lane and that wide arc and trying to make the move but shot to the front yeah all everything on the line here for all three of them team westbrook especially but team rafa once again tom shot doing what he does best just hitting the ground running getting out in front and now we know the performance that he has we know his talents on this course so if he can maintain this we could see another similar to sam coleman in the brady situation where he just builds a massive gap where doing the long lap is just not even a concern exactly and uh, you know chris ladaraga we just saw that shot of her she was just extraordinary in her semi-final run and Shap already opening that margin up to three and a half seconds here comes sarah price for westbrook as uh, she completes that run through the corner. And now you can see that little dip into this tricky turn seven. Shop, no problem. Sarah looking pretty solid through there, but look at how quick he's right back up on the foil and just boosting as he comes out of there. Uh, stretches that margin uh, just a little bit here. Sitting really nicely on the foil there. Much, much more balanced than you can see in the two race birds behind. So the setup paying dividends, also not having the fact of, you know, any wake in front of you, but having that, that clean water makes it makes a huge difference. And we're just seeing that gap getting bigger and bigger. Look, like seven and a half seconds now. Yeah, it's just, uh, he just carries so much speed here. And the question now is, obviously we've said it before, normally when you've got it in the lead, you delay the long lap. So you have that nice, smooth water uh, for as long as possible. When does Sarah, when does John go for that long lap? Yeah, this is where the strategy of the team and you have that, you know, that extra team member sitting at a high vantage point yep. looking and trying to deliver and, and pass down strategy information to the pilots. Right. When is best to do it, you know, looking at the water, looking at the potential weight, looking about where some people are going into parts of the course where and where others are to avoid that potential contact or potential, you know, extra turbulence. But yeah, there's, there's so much to be thinking about, but it's a full team effort. And this is what I, I was just thinking as you were saying that, if I'm John Peters, I go for the long lap because I'm in all that weight uh, that is being generated by Sarah in the Team Westbrook boat, and that's exactly what he did. He'll come out of the merge which, with much smoother water, and then it's a, just a matter of absolutely going as fast as you can to close that margin up. Tom Schaap right now, 10 seconds clear of Sarah Price. That's right on that cusp of being able to complete the long lap and retain that lead. I'd say based on his, his sector times, I think that there's probably enough time there to safely do the long lap and not lose position. But maybe they will late it for one lap left. Now looking at these combined standings, eight points to Westbrook, we'll see them get into the final. Yeah, as it sits, they would go, uh, as it sits right now, it would be a perfect semi-final doubling for Team uh, Rafa here, and that certainly propels them into the final in the margin. Now, I'll tell you what, Sarah's keeping it right at that 10 second mark. Uh, we thought that maybe he would just drive away a little bit, but Sarah just set a personal best in that first sector. John Peters just set an outright best in the first sector, and it's two seconds quicker than anybody has run. And uh, he's right now, he's just got to chew up time here and make that work. Meanwhile, let's see, best outright second sector for Tom Shep, that margin up to 14 and a half seconds. And that is just going to be enough here when he opts to go for it. But right now, he's just staying on it as Sarah goes for that long lap. Yes, yeah, still still maybe don't feel as confident as we do yeah. in the time. Yeah. Uh, team Rafa maybe leaving it to the, one of the last laps they can to activate that long lap. Westbrook in it right now. Let's see where they come out because John Peters used the strategy of using that long lap on the previous lap. How short, How? what's the gap going to be between Westbrook and Tipu Rising? 
now that both of them have done their long lap. It's come down and it's about seven seconds in it. Meanwhile, Tom Chuck is flying ahead, 24 seconds ahead of the others. Well, he just turned the fastest first sector of all at a 22.7. But I was going to note, Peters, after setting that really good time in the second sector, up by two seconds, lost those two seconds in the third sector. And that's why he's still seven seconds behind Sarah Price with only Tom Schaap needing to do the long lap, but with a 28, 29 second lead, essentially. Uh, and I he, think he's doing he could, it. Yeah, he can do that at any time. He's going to have plenty enough margin. So he will do it as they complete. He will complete lap four. And barring any unforeseen issues here in this long lap, he should well be able to just lead coming out of this as he starts the final lap. They went in with a 29 yeah. second uh, advantage. Let's see how much that comes down. It's a pretty clean run. So far, just a second loss. Let's see. I think maybe we're looking at the five, six second mark. So way better than nine or 10 seconds. Yeah. Um, let's see how that gap between Rafa and Westbrook, uh, Tom Schaap and Sarah Price is. And it's just phenomenal running from Tom Schaap and Team Rafa. They just seem to have understood the setup, what it takes to do well here. And actually, in terms of one lap pace, they are the quickest team yeah. so far. And we've seen him you know, up on the foil just for longer stretches, I think, than anybody else out there. And is just putting in an absolutely stellar run. You know, one of the things we haven't really talked about too much, as we're starting to see a little chop, wind's picking up out there, but he's doing a brilliant job, is they have three prop choices, and they keep which one they choose very, very private. Uh, but on this track, uh, it doesn't have the long straights we've seen on some of the other tracks, and prop choice could be making a bit of a difference here as well, along with a guy named Tom Schaap yeah. behind the steering wheel, who has just been absolutely brilliant today. And Chris Lavarag has been able to run right with him. As we come down to the last half of the last lap of this semi-final where Team Rafa have, and Tom Chap have just done what they've done all weekend. And when it comes, you know, they've actually been so performant uh, many times across this season as well. And now this is where it's all coming to pay dividends, getting themselves into the final for the chance of some big points, which will go a long <laughs> way in the championship, considering how tight it is between yeah. third and seventh place. Absolutely. And boy, what an event to find your absolute best for both of these pilots with Rafa Nadal standing there watching his two pilots dominate the semifinal rounds. What a run by Tom Schaff winning by 22 seconds. Here comes Westbrook Racing, Sarah Price getting it done. And this run as she comes through, finishing in second, that should be an advancement to the final as well. So Westbrook continues their remarkable story of uh, just showing up after missing the opening round because they didn't even exist to making final after final after final. And here comes John Peters, who I think having to step in here and uh, put on a show. He showed some great strategy uh, and obviously his first time out at racing one of these race birds. Uh, pretty impressed. Yeah, impressive. Imagine a bit of a, I wouldn't say baptism, baptism of fire because he understands the championship, but racing it and being a team principal are very different things. So maybe an interesting yeah. learning curve as well here. Maybe a bit more sympathy on the other, the, uh, the other pilots.